I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 9th of August, the dead middle of summertime. And yeah, it's going to be hot, but uh, the tropics heating up a little bit. We'll take a look at things this morning. First off, coming from Tuscaloosa. That's looking north from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. The sky mostly fair. We'll go up north to Huntsville. Sky cam there overlooking Memorial Parkway and down south, that's the Edmund Pettus Bridge crossing the Alabama River in Dallas County in Selma. Yep, upper high, centered west of the state, and uh, kind of watching the tropics. Uh, note that little flare of convection below Destin. Maybe that's a sign that uh, the things are, the door is opening for some mischief down there. We'll check the highs yesterday, and again, it could be worse. Birmingham's high was 96 yesterday, but you go out into uh, Kansas and Oklahoma, and they're really baking uh, nasty triple-digit heat out there. So that's the core of the heat is right over the nation's breadbasket, uh, noticeably cooler out west and up in the northeast. Obviously, the uh, main severe weather risks will stay north of us on top of the heat bubble. That's today, and that's tomorrow. There's a QPF chart. Notice the uh, axis heavier rain near the Gulf Coast with the tropics beginning to heat up a little bit. Around here, that's suggesting rainfall amounts on an average basis of about one-half inch. This is valid through Friday evening at 7. And uh, there's the tropical weather outlook this morning. You can see the uh, Hurricane Center with three circles out there. One is a low over the central Atlantic. We've got the remnants of Colin, which have uh, faded away. And then we've got this surface low that's located uh, just east of the uh, east coast of Florida. And that's the most interesting one for us. Here's a look at the surface pressure analysis this morning. You can see that broad uh, 1,012 millibar low that is located east of Daytona Beach. Not much convection with that, but uh, some of the models do want to identify that and bring it to the west underneath the heat bubble. And a number of those models want to bring it up toward uh, southeast Louisiana and then turn it north. And, and, of course, the question is, will the heat bubble develop a weakness in there so it can do that in four or five days. It's possible. Some of the models want to just keep it chugging more west toward Louisiana and Texas, but once that thing moves a little west of our state, that should increase the moisture one way or the other, giving us a better chance of showers and thunderstorms over the latter half of the week. I don't think this will develop into a big hurricane. This will be mainly a rain producer, and hey, that could be a good thing. So we'll keep an eye on that. And the one out there in the middle Atlantic, uh, that one's going to be a recurving system, not affecting any land mass. Check the uh, GFS. This is the OZ run at uh, uh, 1 o'clock today. This is at 500 millibars. There's the heat bubble centered a little north and west of here. And today will be like yesterday, uh, mid to upper 90s. And uh, there will be some storms out there, but with that warm air aloft, they'll be fairly widely scattered. Same thing tomorrow. Not a whole lot of change. Wednesday, the heat bubble begins to shift a little to the west. And again, uh, heat levels ease up slightly. Rain chances go up a bit. And there's the surface chart. Pretty soupy in here. No really discernible surface low in the Gulf on this run. Here's a look at Thursday and Friday. And again, you can see how there's some broad evidence of maybe a moisture mass moving up toward Mississippi and Alabama at the end of the week. And there's Saturday starting off the weekend. Pretty soupy air mass. It looks pretty typical there. Warm, muggy, scattered showers and storms. Uh, highs low to mid-90s. I get the idea the worst of the heat uh, just maybe is behind us. And I understand it'll be hot through August. It always is. But uh, there's a look at Sunday, and it looks pretty soupy with the surface boundary north of us, and we'll go to a week from today, and you can see how the heat has shifted west. This idea has been out there for a while. By mid-month, the worst of the heat to the west, and uh, again, temperatures here get back to average values. Nice trough to the north, and uh, down below that, some type of a surface boundary shows up, a couple of them, one just north of us, another one uh, farther north. Into the forecast on the 24th, no 594 ring. That's nice, and oh, yeah, look down there in the gulf tropical system coming at us you know you just think late august and september could be pretty active and again we'll see how this little 
system does this week in the northern Gulf as it's about that time for the tropics to heat up and we'll be watching with great interest. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.